All right, well, I just got this for the family. It's a Pelican 15.5. And I have the middle seat, came with the middle seat. It's got the Ram X. External material. And these seats, I had to strap them like this to bring it home because I'll show you. Yeah. On uh, both the seats, in there, that side's broken on this one. Um, the opposite side up there, as you can see, and the one in the center, both sides. So, been running some ideas through my head how I can fix this. Uh, at least for use on the water tomorrow and I'm thinking of a, a wood piece because this is just bolted to the edge right through the outside there so maybe I can get some longer bolts and uh, that's even loose get some longer bolts and, and cut a piece of wood that will encapsulate the end here um, just that I could bolt here and cover in case the edge just to hold it so it doesn't come out like this because you see the seat as it just sits there holds this aluminum bar in that runs across the keel and this if it falls out lets that fall out which I really don't want to have happen going down the highway and so, to have it ready for highway transport tomorrow, I need to do that today. And I've got just a few minutes, or in the morning, of course. So, I've just got a few more minutes, and I'll see if I can create something that will work. And hopefully it does, and if not, then at least it was worth a shot. But if it does, then awesome, I'll be happy with it. So that is the before. I'll go grab the, grab the center seat so you can see that too. All right, so the center seat, like the interior seat, it has rod holders. It also has cup holders. That part's nice. And you see it's got the little space there to hold the keel bar down. And these spots which used to be attached there. And it looks like they let's feel it. Looks like they used uh, duct tape at least a couple of times to keep that in place. But that's not gonna work for me. I might put some duct tape over this just to hold it in place, to hold it to the base of the canoe, just as an additional effort for now. Or I could just glue it down, put some adhesive underneath it, like I've got some Gorilla Glue, that'd probably work, but it's not my ideal. Ideally I'd want to fix it, do a permanent fix, but since we're trying to hustle since I just picked this up and this afternoon and I want to have it so we can use it give it a million voyage tomorrow we'll see but let me grab the, the oars so I can show you the full package here all right so this came with the this set of Carlisle oars and nothing special to them they seem to be non-adjustable aluminum handle well aluminum shaft plastic head and handle but hey a set to set since it's all just getting going, 
I'm happy to have something. And my mom gave us some old school PFDs. So let's see, we've got one, it's kind of medium size, I guess two, two that are that size. And one that's a little bit smaller there. <laughs> and one that's vest style. And that one's got some UV damage going on there, but I guess we'll give them a test tomorrow. And see how much they float. But see if they're still buoyant. But that's That's definitely enough for all those that will be on it at one time, but this canoe is rated to 800 pounds according to the Pelican website specs. So, boy's favorite color is green right now, so we got a green canoe, it just happened to work out, and we'll take it up to the lake tomorrow and get somewhere that's less than 100 degrees rather than more. So, I'm a fan of, you know, mid 80s on the upper range rather than, you know, 110, 115. Which is probably why I don't live further south, but not that there wouldn't be nice waters there, but I just prefer a little cooler weather. Shucks, if it was in the 70s as a high end for the summer I'd be okay with that too but that is the package as she sits now if you have any suggestions for fixing these seats or uh, swapping them out I looked at some I've seen some pictures of some that come with a a cooler built into the seat and the seat seats sits deeper in the canoe which is something I definitely prefer then if you've got some suggestions or website links please include those in the comments because uh, i'm not familiar with any reliable sites for ordering those that aren't super expensive and i couldn't even find a way to purchase the ones that have the integrated cooler and i saw some that have a, a cooler and a dry pack integrated into the seat and i'd really like to get one of those if I could yeah, but I just didn't see where they were available to purchase individually this just the seat so if you know then please let me know or include a link comment uh, I would really appreciate it and again I'm getting going might take out a rod see if I can't catch something tomorrow that we can cook up for the family while we're out on the lake but if I don't, it's no big deal. It's more about having fun than anything. And I just have to take it easy and let my hip heal. I'll have to do another video on that, but uh, it's just a recovery time, so I don't want to do anything strenuous and stressful. I just want to enjoy the obligatory downtime and hanging out with my family. So please, if you've had any specific experiences, good or bad, with this a particular canoe model then let me know and please again like subscribe and share my videos uh, the subscribing will really help me and the sharing will help other people subscribe and that'll help me more so thank you much I appreciate your time and watching it and uh, have some good adventures this summer thanks for joining me